Hi, today we're going to tour my garden. The Lindsay Corley Show, not long ago, we're vet techs now retired. The Lindsay Corley Show, and now they go to what the F that they desire. The fabric snobs, but they're not snobs, just fabric tends to rouse them. The Lindsay Corley Show, they like to sew, there's nothing cool about them. So if I'm not at the snob, you'll often find me in my garden. My husband Dalen and I really enjoy gardening. We often will start things in the greenhouse and move out to here. So this is what our fall garden looks like. I'm really passionate about perennials, particularly roses. They're my favorite. So these are zinnias that we've started in our greenhouse. We've got many varieties and I think it's fun to make a fall bouquet with adding some color. But ultimately I'm passionate about roses. This is my favorite rose. Um, it's a Morden blush. I have 24 different varieties of roses in my garden. Here's another one too. Something I really love to do is to overwinter them. I pride myself on them coming back every year. So I would add some flax to them um, just to cover them up to help them with the hardiness because we're close to the lake. Right now I'll show you how to deadhead. So once the petals fall off, you just pluck these off and they keep blooming for the entire season. That's the reason I love them is because they add color to my garden. Something that makes me sad about them is that they're hard to put in a bouquet because of the thorns. But you can pluck them off. Here's another rose here. And another one. <laughs> so I try and separate them through my garden um, to add variety to it. So I'll put something in between. This is a lupin here. I'm really passionate about perennials because I feel like it's an investment and they come back every year. If it's an annual, like the zinnias, you have to seed them every year. This is a fun little sunflower that's voluntary. It just showed up here, which I think is fun. So I didn't remove it. So this is Dalen's favorite. This is a delphinium, which I insisted we start because it was my childhood favorite. So we have it in this blue, and this is what it looks like over here when it's not flowering yet. And we also have it in a purple. So he started all these. Uh, this one he started this year, and the bigger one he started last year, and it just keeps coming back, so that makes us excited. Um, when we're gardening, we try and think about the heights of the different flowers, and also we try and have variety of color so they're not next to each other and the blooming time. So here, you'll think this is dead, but it's actually a poppy, and it was one of our first blooms of the year. So I plant it next to a rose, because that blooms all year. So you've got some interesting thing throughout the year. So this is a dahlia. Uh, dahlias are actually not zoned for us, but we love dahlias because they come in tubers. Dalen starts them in pots in the greenhouse to get them to flower sooner. So this is how I would start to make a bouquet. I would pick something that I am really passionate about, like an interesting flower, like a dahlia. Then I add to it. Here's a rutabecca. So I would add this as a filler in my bouquet. So then I really love to give flowers as gifts. So if you have received flowers from me, you know I love you. So this is a delphinium and I really love to add that to the back to give some height. I also like to strip them down so it's not so full in your vase. So I would complete my bouquet with adding some greenery. I love Cosmos because they have a little bit of texture and a flower. And there we go. I would send this out to a friend. So something that I also love is just adding some seed and letting it go wild. This has bachelor buttons and Cosmos, which is fun for bouquets. And on the other side, I have poppies and hollyhocks. I wouldn't uh, till it at the beginning of the year, I would just let it seed in. We added this um, fence for some wind protection and also just to add some dimension to the garden. That's something that we're finding as we progress with our gardening, that we add greenery and some other dimensions. So here we have a butterfly and bee house that we're going to grow um, morning glories up at next year. 
So every year we find that we add another little project to our garden um, that we look forward to. So Dalen found this wheel uh, that was on the farm from his childhood that he wanted to incorporate. And he really loves the bergia. It grows up this wheel naturally. So he just planted it at the bottom and it takes off. Trix likes it. I think it's important that our kids have an area to get their feet dirty in the sand. So Zane really loves to play here. I like to get them involved in the garden uh, with weeding and growing their own food. Some of our kids think it's a chore, but I think it's actually a gift to teach them how to raise their own food. So Dalen is really passionate about the vegetables and not so me, but uh, he loves it. So right here he starts with um, flowers that he has seeded from the garden and then we put a big thick row of gladiolas, which are bulbs. So gladiolas and dahlias you need to dig up in the fall along with ranunculus and keep them safe in a cool, dry area for winter and then you replant them in the spring which are fabulous. It's another investment with a perennial that we like. We have started all of these uh, rutabecas in the greenhouse and he did a thick row which makes it fun for cutting the flowers. But then he continues on with his vegetables. So we used to be hog farmers and we repurposed our hog penning into garden boxes that we filled with soil just for ease of gardening for raised beds. This looks like a mess, but it's actually full of herbs with mint and lavender and basil um, that we just use sometimes in our bouquets or in drinks. Um, I've got a few little carrots here that's kind of sad. And then I've already taken out my onions, corn and potatoes because it's already September and I wanted to get them dug before winter. But come with me and see my thick row of raspberries and my tomatoes. That looked terrible. <laughs> so here's my tomatoes that I plan to make uh, pasta sauce with and salsa. I plant marigolds in my garden um, to help with bugs and deer resistance. This is another variety of tomatoes. These are Romas. We really like them in salsa. This year we added in a permanent pea fence, but we did it really heavy duty um, <laughs> using chicken wire and uh, fence posts that we pounded in. And we decided to grow our pumpkins, cucumbers and peas up it. And it's been holding up and we're really gr happy with it because it has save space in our garden. Hey Lindsay, come see these little gourds. I know you love them. <laughs> They're so perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey Lindsay, look at the strings of this one. <laughs> We're holding up these pumpkins. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So as most of you know, um, this year was a drought. We did water our garden on the daily, but we also had grasshoppers, but we're lucky enough to live right next to a farm field, so we haven't had trouble with it. <laughs> so most of you will know that we are honey farmers, so we have bees in our yard a lot. Um, Dalen has some bee crops close by our hives so that helps i think to produce wonderful flowers throughout our garden and just makes it extra extra wonderful um yeah so if you're ever wanting to stop by and sniff the flowers with me please come on down hey lindsay come check out this greenhouse so most of you would know if you're a gardener it's going to be a mess so the thing that we like is we have a raised bed here so I can extend my growing season. Right away, I will seed in another row of lettuce just to increase it. We had early peas and cucumbers growing up, these wonderful little twines. Um, the other thing is we need to have lots of space. So we have two shelves to hold all of our plants when we're seeding in the spring. And we have a large workspace for Dalen and I because we're both in here together. Um, it's something that we do for fun as a little date. And this year he's adding a window so I can see the kids easier. Um, yeah, and we have a large bucket 
of water for watering. We collect the rain and then use that um, to water our plants. We find that if we gather the rainwater, it's warm and it also has more nutrients than our well water, which helps our plants grow. Thanks for joining me today in my garden. I hope I inspired you uh, just to grow something for yourself and to stop and smell the roses.